Hello, today we will talk about fault tree analysis in SysML simulation. Uh, we'll use the aircraft uh, model and uh, parametric diagram simulation out of the box without any hard code to run the fault tree analysis. So as you can see here, we can execute this fault tree and we get probability of the total failure, which is the accumulative probability of all uh, events, intermediate and basic events, uh, starting from the uh, lower events with the gates like AND, OR, and other gates, and probabilities available. So if we'll take any of those probabilities, for example, here, and if we'll adjust this probability, this will impact the total probability. That's so this one is derived, as we can see, it is intermediate event. Uh, let's take, like for example, loss of ground, uh, loss of, uh, like this one, for example, not here. No. Yeah, for example, this in probability is a basic event. And as you can see here, it's an uh, un unshaded loss of uh, thrust reverse. And if we'll increase the probability of this, the total probability increases. And uh, we can see that it is uh, uh, in the required range based on the accepted uh, failure risk and uh, accepted reliability. So uh, uh, this uh, fault tree analysis uh, allows us to identify basic events, uh, probabilities, we can change them here and uh, run the analysis. Let's say like we'll increase this one here and then uh, run analysis uh, and uh, see results here. As you can see, uh, this also allows us to connect the, and to keep the co tight connection between system model, uh, as we can see here, uh, which is like aircraft uh, with the use cases to accelerate aircraft on the ground, uh, including the structure and other parts of the model aircraft wheel braking system and so on. As we can see here, it is using the uh, new standard which is currently in the beta where you can provide the feedback for risk analysis and assessment modeling language omg uh, standard where you can actually find the standard the, there will be new paper on this topic for incosis symposium uh, this july in uh, one week on this fault tree analysis Plus, uh, there is sample, which you can see the stripped version of this sample available in the video documentation, but also you can uh, go to the standard uh, group and get full uh, sample with uh, other analysis methods, which actually, for example, like fault tree analysis and uh, FMEA analysis, where you can connect both and uh, you can um, get uh, a cumulative result of the failure uh, analysis. And now uh, I will talk about uh, how this uh, uh, out-of-the-box method works, you know, from simulation perspective. As you can see here, we have libraries for the gates. Each gate has its own logic. This logic is in parametric diagram. So this parametric diagram is actually coming out of the box uh, with this sample. So you can take it and use it. Uh, you don't need to modify it. Uh, the, and uh, I also there are event libraries, as you can see, basic event, top event, uh, conditional event, and so on. And you can use them here uh, in the model. So now how that uh, uh, fault tree is built. Uh, so as you can see here, first of all, we have aircraft, uh, which is uh, has uh, lost of aircraft top event, which is relevant to this aircraft, right? So this is a traceability relation, which is built. And then we are building this uh, uh, internal block diagram uh, fault based on uh, internal block diagram fault tree. And as you can see here, we are going to delete couple of uh, 
a couple of uh, elements. Let's go here. One basic event, uh, let's say, gone, and then uh, gate. Uh, gone. And now we are going to uh, redo this uh, part. So as you can see here, we have uh, intermediate event and we have a couple of basic events which should accumulate. We don't connect two gates actually. We always use intermediate event based on this methodology of fault tree. And we'll start from the uh, from the gates, let's say. So uh, if we need uh, or gate here, so we can find one. So go to uh, type as or gate, drag it here. We have or gate, we can change this to the image and we can connect it to this and we can use uh, regular connector. So here, here and here. And now we need to specify, is this output or input? So the usability is uh, kind of uh, basic here because uh, it is not yet uh, implemented uh, as a uh, dedicated solution. It is just a generic simulation working, but which allows you to connect uh, you know, system model to the simulation, to the fault tree analysis. So here, to select is it input or output, we need to right click, go to associations and choose which association is this source or target. So it is source. As you can see, now I got input, association, source, it's input. And we are pretty much, what we are doing, we are choosing uh, is this um, event connection to gate is output or input. So you see in the meta model, we have two associations based on which we are choosing is this output or input. So both of them are input. And now we are going to create new event, which will be uh, in uh, veritant spoiler deploy meant after v1 as a result we got uh, created a block which we need to trans uh, uh, go to block here uh, and uh, inherit from basic events so go to create a relation uh, outgoing uh, generalization And it will be basic, basic event. So here we have this basic event as a part of the fault tree here. And then the next step will be to uh, refactor this uh, block into the into the actually basic event convert to more specific basic event that's it so now we can actually connect it here and choose association association source and this one should be association uh, association and this should be target we can uh, hide those uh, uh, you see uh, role names, um, we don't need that. Uh, we just need to see is this input source or target. Uh, actually, we don't need to see that just for the simplest type on copy and paste style here to see the initial probability. As you can see here, now I can uh, assign this probability and I can right click, or go to the tools, define const with specific initial values. Uh, choose the probability, which actually creates the instance for this specific uh, element and keeps that probability property there. So 5.0 minus 9, we have this probability assigned. And uh, now I can uh, simulate uh, this model again to get results. As we can see here, result is the same it is based on this uh, created model. As you can see here, there is no 
not much more done here. We just have basic events. We have different types of case like OR and AND. We have intermediate events. And at the top, we have top event. And then we have also transfer, which allows us to reuse one fault tree and another tree. So uh, thank you for your time. And uh, let us know if you will have questions.